we played a lot of stuff off like the Pro Skater 2 soundtrack and stuff yeah. too. It was all like, you know, Agent, uh, was it Agent Orange and stuff like that? Yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, the best soundtrack of any video game ever. Local hardcore band Grip Down is gearing up to play a show at the Stag to celebrate the release of their latest song, Break Me Down, which features some absolutely killer guitar riffs. Grip Down will be joined by Lona, Fall From Heaven, Mocked and Dissed for their Stag takeover on the 7th of September. Here's the chat that we had with Luke and Jake from Grip Down. I want to start off by asking about the name Grip Down. What does it mean and how did it come about? Well, to grip down is just, you know, it's to grip down and have a go, whether you're, you know, at work, gripping down on a schooner, whatever. You're just gripping down. After a hard day of the power tools, you want to go home and grip down to that beer, you know? That's what it's all about. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and why do you feel like that represents you as a band? We work hard and we drink harder. It's as simple <laughs> as it is. That's why we grip down every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. As you should. So you've got all sorts of tunes out already, um, but you've released three singles this year. Most recently, Break Me Down. Can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind that song? Well, Break Me Down is pretty easy. We, we've always started off playing more hardcore and punk sort of stuff, and then we've started playing around with a bit of more of a metal influence, a metallic hardcore sound. And we got some new guitarists in and he started writing some riffs and we started heading down that metal path. So for all the riff lords out there, Break Me Down's for you. Yeah, our boy Andy wrote Break Me Down and it's, yeah, Riff City. He's done really good with it. Yeah. Who would you say are your main influences? Probably bands like Crowbar, I Hate God and stuff like that. Crowbar Worship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And also all that, like, you know, bit of a, like... 2000s metal corey sort of influence coming through as well at the moment with some of the newer stuff we're doing getting a bit faster and you know a bit lower tuned as well so for everyone who likes it low and slow we got you having that said though i think our biggest inspiration is country really uh, waylon jennings can't go wrong there my boy what a legend 100 percent legend easy so, um, can we expect any more songs throughout the rest you of the sure year? You sure can. This yeah. year, expect something coming out. Some big releases happening. Hopefully, we can get it out two years at the end of the year. Uh, we're working real hard, so we're just sort of bunking down a bit there and getting the job done. Yeah. And is it more singles, or are you hoping to put out a collection? I think we're working on an EP. I think a five track is the talk at the moment. Awesome. Hopefully. Fingers yeah. crossed. What have been some like highlight performance moments for you so far as a band? I think our first show, Mayfield Bowler, 2019, we didn't know what to do. We sort of just got asked if we could play a show. At that point, I don't think we were even a band. I think we just decided, yeah, we'll, we'll start one to sort of play these gigs. I think we packed out this little bowling club in Mayfield there. They were stoked, and it was one of the coolest things we've ever done. Yeah, that's really cool. Can you remember um, what the set list looked like? Oh, well, that was back, that was way before the uh, country and metal influence really hit in. And that's when we're sitting down and we're playing some punk songs. We're singing songs about drinking beers and just having a good time. And it was just fun energy. We created a party was it? We also had songs about not being able to get on and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, all yeah. sorts of, yeah. All that mischief, you know, all that fun stuff. So. I think we played a lot of stuff off like the Pro Skater 2 soundtrack and stuff yeah. too. It was all like, you know, Agent, uh, was it Agent Orange and stuff like that? Yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, the best soundtrack of any video game ever. 100% listen to that soundtrack if you haven't i recommend it to anyone what about gta i mean i feel like that has a pretty killer yeah San, san andreas has a pretty uh special place in my heart <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there that holds up well doesn't it, <laughs> it does. all right amazing so you have a gig coming up at the stag and hunter hotel on the 7th of september tell me a little bit about the lineup and how you chose those bands stag and hunter 7th september we're looking at dist mocked loner from sydney four from heaven and us so this is a band that Farley's been working with for many years. There are a few young fellas. Uh, mocked again a couple of young mates that are starting out. And we just wanted to put together a lineup with young artists, local artists, and just have a bunch of guys that just give them a go. And that's what it's about, I think. The whole show is just about a bunch of mates having a good time. And other than that, do you have anything that you're super looking forward to about that night? Stag. The Stag puts on a great time. If you've never come to our heavy show at the Stag, 100% do it. It's a free show, 7pm uh, kicking off. Cheap beers there too, so what could go wrong? I actually haven't been to a heavier show at the Stag yet. Does the vibe change very much? or? Not really. It's still like the classic Stag sort of like welcoming vibe. Great sound. You know, James is always doing a great job down there. And yeah, but very accommodating place. Well, before I let you go, other than releases, um, what do you have planned for the rest of the year? 
I think for the rest of the year, we're going to play a few shows. We're really trying to lock in this new EP. Uh, so at the moment, we're just sort of grinding in that aspect. We're going to keep playing a few shows from now to Christmas and then keep an eye out for big things in uh, 2025. That's going to be our time, I think, hopefully. Well, touch wood. <laughs> touch something. It doesn't matter what you touch, as long as you touch something. Well, thank you so much for coming uh, in and thank having you. a chat. Yeah, no, thanks for having us and thanks for all the viewers for watching. We've been stoked to come in, so it's been fun. Looking forward to it. September 7th, Stag and Hunter Hotel. Grip down. Be there. Amazing. You. Thank you.